You tell her? Okay, go. Yeah, no, you're not playing with those. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode with First Mate Adventures. We're starting in the kitchen, that's right. We're not doing anything but cooking today. We've got some beautiful bonito from our previous video, which will be down in the description below. Check that one out to work out how you get to this point where you're actually going to cook them. Got my little man here on the side. He's gonna give me a hand, you gonna help? You gonna help me? Your truck? Yeah, your truck's holding the tail up. That's perfect. So what we're gonna do with this one, guys, is we're gonna do three different co cooking methods. This is good cooking methods. Yep. Come. <laughs> My turn. Your turn. No. <laughs> now your turn. Hey. Hey. Okay. My turn. Ready? Ready. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've got three different preparation methods for this fish. Okay, the gig was now because Hunter's laughing. Uh, so we're going to do sashimi, we're then going to do sushi, and then we're going to pan fry it. So, two raw, one cooked. One, two, do it. I'm doing it. Are you doing it? <laughs> go, go, go. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. So first things we gotta we gotta do guys, we're gonna knock the fillets off this. Um, as you see guys, I've got two of the exact same knives. These are my preferred knives from pretty much hey, everything. Hey! What? Truck. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep going, we're gonna roll with this. So I got two knives here, but they're both exactly the same knives. Guys, I use these knives for everything, whether it's gutting, gilling, filleting, preparation, it doesn't matter. They are my go-to knife. They're a six inch boning knife made by Dexter. Uh, they're my favorite, they seem to do everything. Anyway, uh, this guy's been on uh, ice for a little bit, so his flesh is nice and firm. We're gonna knock the fillets off and then uh, we'll start prepping, so stay tuned. Wendy? Okay, ready? we're gonna have to take the fillets off this. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Go, go. Done. Good. Hi, <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah, your turn. Hey! Go, go, go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys, so we're gonna knock the fillets off this. <laughs> You've been such a great help today, buddy. Uh, so, when you catch these guys, the idea is, you'll see in the previous videos, you're supposed to bleed these. Reason you bleed these is you'll get the most out of the meat. So, we brain spike them, then we slit their throats, a little bit gruesome, but they can't feel it, and then we end up bleeding them. Um, that way, there's not too much blood in the, in the flesh, you know, get the most of it. That's what we're here for. Mate, I don't think those cars are going to do the job, I think we're going to need some knives. What do you reckon? All right, so I've got my knife, Hunter's got his knife and cutting board. So I've taken the tail off this and given it to Hunter so he's distracted with it and he's not gonna try and grab this. We're all about safety here. So with me, first things first, we're gonna start in behind the peck, move forward up into the head. There's quite a fair bit of meat that a lot of people miss out on. Turn your knife and start running down the backbone. I'll turn it that way so you can see it. Obviously having a sharp knife is very important. So that's our first incision. And then we just work down the backbone. So you can feel it. Just slowly run your knife. I'm actually pushing on the meat to roll the flesh up. How's yours going, buddy? Where's yours? Yours? Yeah, where's your fish? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you want to help a bit? Okay, you can help. How about you help with yours? Can you do yours for me? Thank you. It's good to get the kids involved, but they got to understand that safety is number one. What? 
Don't what me, I'm telling you safety's number one. <laughs> no. Okay. Do we need to have the safety talk again? No. Okay. Well, this is our fillet, buddy. So guys, you basically, you just follow that backbone. As you can see, there's really no meat left through there. It's hey, basically all bone. Mate, I'm just taking the fillet off. Ew, but wait until you taste it, mate. You're gonna love it. So we'll just come around, because we're not gonna use that, that fin. We'll just come around, work forward. Tail, tail. You got the tail? And that's your fillet. That's the first step, we'll do the other side, and then we're gonna show you how to prep it. You go. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. Can't half tell he pays attention. All right, so we've knocked the fillets off, guys. We've got two beautiful pieces of uh, bonito. As you can see, guys, look at the flesh. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now the next step is to- Wait, hey, look. What do you see? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're gonna prep it for the next step, okay? So we're gonna do some sashimi, some sushi. No, it's Bonnie, remember? Bonnie? That's right. And then we're gonna pan fry something as well, buddy. Get excited. Let's do it. Butter. Cheers. Cheers. Your turn. All right, guys, so I've selected the uh, fillet that I'm going to use for my sushi and sashimi. So I'm going to prep that now, and then we're going to move on to the frying section because there's a little bit of wait time for this, and I'll show you why. So, first things first, is we're going to split the fillets in two, like so. Ooh, bit of flesh still there, attached. Let's do that again. Okay, yep. So it's split in half. The reason we do that is there is a series of backbones through here, but also the bloodline seems to run down the spine. So it's going to be a lot easier and save a lot of the meat if we do that, like so. A little bit, that little bit, done. Onto our waste pile. Now guys, as you can see here, there's some bloodlines. We'll cut those out so that we save most of the meat. Also, it really taints the flavor. All right, guys, now that we've split the fillet and taken the bones out, now we're going to skin it and then we'll cut the bloodlines out. So, stay tuned. Cut. Very easy to skin, guys. You quite literally just pull the meat to you. A lot of people like to push. Don't do that. Pull the meat to you and it comes up really easy. Now, another thing that I do guys, because the proteins in the fish actually block up the edge of the blade, is a paper towel, wipe the blade, and then you get a fresh start again. So, all right guys, we're gonna knock these bloodlines out now. Nice and simple. Watch this. Stick them in the fridge. All right, guys, get some paper towel, like we said. And put them up on the plate here. We get our two fillets. Just like that, straight in the fridge. We'll leave those in there for a bit to firm up, make it easier to slice up, and we're gonna prep some steaks. All right, so we've sent the young fella out for a shower. We're gonna quickly portion these up so that we can have some beautiful little bonito bites. So, first things first, clean knife once again, same as always. Got our fillets, I've already done the, take the, the, uh, the flesh off. We're just into meat now. Okay, so, quite simple guys. Just follow the grain. Cut through. There we go, and again. 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 All right, guys, we've got our portions now. We'll just lay them back out. Nothing too hardcore about this at all. Salt, pepper, a little bit of butter in a pan, and they're right to go. So, let's do it.
Now, what kind of fishermen would we be if we didn't have salt and pepper shakers that look like fishing reels? <laughs> the salt. Now, this isn't any fancy salt. It is literally just salt written on the box. Pepper. All right, guys. Nice and quick and easy here. Straight onto the hot plate, like so. Haven't really got a good place to hang it, so it's all gonna be by hand. So we're gonna go dip it in the residue, quick sear. Again, dip, quick sear, dip, dip. And all that's in there is just butter, guys. Salt and pepper and butter. There you have it. Quick sear on that side, we'll flip them over in a second, we'll do the other side. Push. I like ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. So this doesn't take too long at all guys, it's probably been only a couple of minutes. First side 30 seconds or so, second side about, I don't know, a minute and a half, maybe two minutes and she's almost done. Have a look. Get a little bit of pink on that one, a bit of a thick a bit, but these ones will be ready to go, nice and chewy. Can't wait, so hungry. All right, so the taste test, we've got our fresh bonito. Cooked perfectly, actually, just flakes apart. Mm. So good. Yeah, Hunter's already had a bit, as you can hear, he's enjoying it. All right, next step, sashimi. All right, she's firmed up. Let's get her off the plate. We're gonna need that one. All right, so the trick with this, actually we're gonna use one for sushi, one for sashimi. So we'll put that one aside for sushi, a little bit more meat. Sashimi, because it's for me. Let's do it. So. Basically guys, nice and simple. Just follow the grain. And nice thin slices like that. And repeat until you run out of meat. Oh that rhymes. Look at me go. I'm an artist. <laughs> Alright guys, my favorite part. I've got my sashimi in front of me. I've got my wasabi. We got my soy sauce, so we mix it in. We put our dab of wasabi in the bottom of our bowl. A little bit of the soy sauce. Mix it up. Look at that. Actually, we'll mix it properly. Look at that. All right. Now, fresh bonito. Oh. So good. Let's do that again. Oh. Mm. All right, the next step, let's make some sushi. All right, guys, it is time for sushi. So, check it out. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like, exactly what's gonna happen. I'm excited. Let's do it. All right, guys, now, I'm not a chef by any means, as you can tell, but we do give it a fair old crack. So, we've got some ingredients tonight, guys. We've got our cream cheese. It's just a Carl's brand. It's nothing expensive. We've got our is this sushi rice? Like actual proper, okay. We actually got the proper stuff. This is proper sushi rice, so I think it holds together a lot better. We got some carrots. Um, we stole a Bugs Bunny, so here they are. He's pissed. Um, and we got some soy sauce. So, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna make some sushi rolls. Let's do it.
Well there you have it guys, that's how you make sushi rolls. As you can tell, they weren't my hands, I have the clumsiest hands, so there is no way I was able to do that, but thanks to Parker for helping me out. We've got some awesome sushi that's being laid out right now, and I cannot wait to get stuck into it. This looks amazing, let's check it out. How awesome does that look? I'm gonna get stuck into it. Look at this. Sorry, I've already devoured it because I'm starving, but look at this. That is dinner. Now guys, if you liked watching that, then we're gonna do a lot more of it. Make sure you click that subscribe button below. Give us a good old thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. You know what to do. And we will definitely, definitely see you on the next adventure. in his mouth. Can you see what the issue is? You know, I think I know where the issue is. The rest of his body's missing! No! Yeah!